time now for French Connections, our weekly look at the intricacies of life here in France with our own Florence Villemelo. Hey, Hello, Flo. Um, this week, we're going to focus on the world of French cinema, this following the death of the director Jean-Luc Godard. And I suppose that is a reminder of just how much French cinema has influenced art over the years. Absolutely. He was arguably one of the most iconic members of the French new wave, la nouvelle vague. So alongside François Truffaut, Éric Romère, Agnès Varda, and many others, the nouvelle vague basically completely tore up the cinema rule book at the time and paved an, the way to a new approach to the medium, essentially a, a, an approach of total freedom. Just listen to Jean-Luc Godard speaking about what inspired him for his first feature-length film, so this is perhaps the most quintessential Nouvelle Vague film. Of course, it's A bout de souffle, Breathless, uh, starring Jean-Paul uh, Jean Belmondo and Gene Seberg. Take a listen. A film that was made entre, alors vraiment entre réaction contre tout ce qui ne se faisait pas, presque, presque pathologiquement ou, euh, ou, ou systématiquement. On ne fait pas un gros plan avec un, avec un petit, avec un grand angulaire. Bon, ben on va le faire. On ne fait pas de travelling à la main, bon, ben on va le faire. Et ça correspondait à moi un désir de, 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 faire que, de montrer que tout était permis. And Flo, as you say, it's hard to overstate just what a bombshell the new wave was at the time, but also how much it influenced filmmakers around the world. Totally, because you know, critics say the Nouvelle Vague was actually one of the most influential uh, movements in film history. These days, we're so used to seeing uh, techniques that they developed at the time, but at the time, it was revolutionary. It was radical. Uh, it's really interesting to hear different directors uh, explain just how much this movement inspired them. I found this great footage uh, from the 90s, you'll see a very much younger uh, Quentin Tarantino explaining how the Nouvelle Vague in, in, uh, inspired his very famous film, Reservoir Dogs. When I did Reservoir Dogs, it was like kind of do my version of a French new wave crime film, but like kind of go full circle with it and bring it bring it back with an American vernacular. So actually, this is actually where I, you know, uh, want to be. This is this is perfect setting for uh, Reservoir Dogs. To me, it, it came all the way home. A younger Quentin Tarantino there, Flo. So, yes, as we can see, French cinema has inspired and fascinated filmmakers abroad. These days, though, it does arguably need defending from the bulldozers of mega film major filmmaking machines in Hollywood and from streaming sites as well. Absolutely. Cinema is, is the crown jewel of something we call the cultural exception here in France. It's not that uh, French culture is exceptional. It's that actually uh, culture is something that needs protecting. Now, this is a state policy that was put in place in the 1950s to protect France's cultural heritage. And, and the idea is that culture, whether it's movies, theater, or music, these things aren't goods like others, and they shouldn't be at the mercy of supply and demand and the market and foreign competition especially. So when it comes to cinema, for instance, there's a state agency that's sole purpose is protecting and promoting French movies. It's our acronym du jour. It's the very powerful CNC. So this is the National Center for Cinema and Moving Image. It's actually an agency of the French Ministry of Culture, and the CNC essentially has a honeypot of money that it uses to, and distributes to all sorts of different projects, so that can be building a cinema, for instance, or of course financing all sorts of various films, uh, or TV, and even video games. And the CNC's money flow comes from taxes, including a levy on the sale of cinema tickets. That's right, let's take a closer look. For each cinema ticket, you'll see there is a tax of 10.72%. It's very precise. So if it's a French film, 20% of that tax will go to the CNC and 80% will go to the producer. But if it's a foreign film, all of that tax will go to the CNC. So, uh, for instance, if your cinema ticket costs 10 euros, and unfortunately it increasingly does, over a euro will go to financing a French film, uh, regardless of the film you see. So, for instance, if you go see a Hollywood blockbuster, well, actually, you're going to help finance a smaller art house film, a, a smaller budget film here in France that probably wouldn't have been made otherwise. Well, clearly that is good news for France. Uh, in a place where it must be said there is a real love and and pride of the movies, of course, that's because this is the birthplace of cinema. It is. It's, it's good to remember that the very first commercial film uh, happened, uh, the screening happened here in Paris in 1895. And what's interesting is over 125 years later, the silver screen is still booming here in France. France has the largest number of cinemas 
in Europe. There are over 2,000 movie theaters across the country. Paris alone has the highest density of cinemas in the world. And it must be said, French people love to go to the movies. They really do. In fact, they're the biggest moviegoers in uh, Europe. And that could be surprising given the, the rise of online streaming. But what's interesting is a lot of French people are actually purists when it comes to films. These are works of art. They were made to be watched on a big screen, not slouched on my sofa on a tiny screen with a phone ringing. Films are made to be seen in a movie theater, not on TV. I don't even own one. If I'm watching films with my kids, I'll go to the cinema. I want to teach them the pleasure of watching a movie on the big screen, the quality of the image and the patience it takes to watch a film until the end. You really can't overstate just how much cinema is part of the cultural landscape here in France. You heard that man saying, these are works of art, uh, and I couldn't agree more, and it's important to protect them. Absolutely. I think it's one of my favourite things about living here in France. Uh, it was a real pleasure to talk to you. Thanks very much, uh, Flo Villeneau, uh, for us there for this week's French Connections. That's unfortunately all we have time for from Flo, but you can always tweet her your questions at Flo Villeneau on Twitter uh, and check out more of her shows on our website, which is france24.com. And that's it for uh, this Parry Direct News show. Thanks for watching and do stay with us on France 24. My colleague Rochelle Ferguson-Bahahi will pick up very shortly. <laughs>